The games industry is kind of a special beast. The ideas are just from every nook and cranny targeted at the billions of gamers that now exist as a market. Really, really, really energetic founders building at the very beginning of this AI wave. Now we're fully in it. Game engines, new platforms, everything that's happening in Web3, everything that's happening in spatial computing and VR and AR. You know, we call our program Speedrun. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Learn, build better from it. Look, we saw dozens of games founders come through Speedrun 2.0, and they built across AI, AR, VR, infrastructure, consumer platforms, Web3, and a whole lot more. And now you can get a glimpse into what they're building. My name is Kevin. I'm the founder of Open Souls. We're a company with a mission of creating AI souls. We have a very different approach to how we think about and understand AI. For us, AI in the life inside of it is something to really respect and cherish. And we think that that is what will ultimately resonate with humanity. And so when we think about a positive vision for the future, we think about a world where people are not afraid of these AI beings, but they're their friends, they're their companions, they play video games with them. And there's something that deeply resonates with humanity as opposed to takes away its jobs. I discovered the key secret about large language models. They're missing one of the most important pieces of training data for soulful behavior of all, access to our internal mental states. Ultimately, programming large language models is actually a state management problem. And armed with the secret, I realized it was time to grow the idea. So I assembled a team of repeat founder engineers and artists and began building a vibrant community religiously devoted to creating new life. Uh, <laughs> Well, it, it kind of actually goes all the way back to my childhood when I met my first computer in 1995. It was this IBM Aptiva that my dad brought down to the basement. And at the time, um, I had, had a pretty lonely childhood and I thought maybe this computer could be my friend. The technology just wasn't there at the time. And so I, I dedicated my life to making computers faster with the idea of getting to the point where I could actually bring them to life. And now the technology is sufficiently advanced that the time is now to actually bring new digital life out of this computing technology from large language models. We, we'd built actually many short demos before. And the thing that we actually used Speedrun to do over this time period was really understand game, de game developers and then uh, build a product for them. And so we're, we're starting to see the beginnings of, uh, we built this thing called the Soul Engine, which allows developers to bring souls to life very quickly. And so we, we now have a number of uh, early small game studios and game developers who are actually building on top of that technology and creating their own experiences. And so over the course of Speedrun, for us, it wasn't so much about creating one experience ourselves, but instead uh, democratizing the technology that we had used before and giving that to other game developers so they could create these experiences. Simultaneously, the most sophisticated yet simplest platform to get started for creating, programming, debugging, and deploying AI souls. The Soul Engine is React plus Next.js plus Vercel for souls. In one terminal commandment, create a new soul in 30 seconds, start coding stateful behavior, debug in our web interface, and scalably deploy to tens of thousands of users or players. So we actually had open sourced a library um, before we built the Soul Engine. And this library was kind of like the precursor to that engine, which um, allowed developers to very quickly put together complex experiences with large language models. And it kind of just organically turned out actually that a lot of our early adopters were game studios and they were applying to the speedrun program. We started our closed alpha last month and our community is already building some of the most incredible applications in the AI space. Because when large language models come alive, developers are empowered to create much deeper digital meaning than ever before. Let's take a look. With a soul in Tanaki, your VR avatar becomes your creative partner. With a soul in Ursula, your child's tutor becomes their confidant. And with souls in the ever-evolving Boo Kingdom, where narrative story dynamically changes every day, your video game characters become your best friends. You've already seen that Open Souls has led the development of soul-filled AI, and we've condensed that research now into the Soul Engine, where early feedback has consistently told us that we save years off development time. From here, we're on track to rapidly grow and scale the platform. There's kind of this existing idea of what AI is, which is we have these other games, we'll just put NPCs in them, we'll use AI to make them come alive. 
but there's a whole new class of how to think about the experiences that can be created. For example, maybe the core game mechanic is how good you are at negotiation. So maybe you can like learn new social skills, for example, in the game. That's just one example, but there's tens of other ways that you can think about mixing and mashing old game mechanics into new forms. And so the thing that we definitely want to see and we actually want to support is other game developers exploring these new modalities and then building community around that. The next step for us is to release a uh, series of around five to 10 mini games that really demonstrate the potential of our Soul Engine and then encourage other developers to understand what's possible with this new technology.